On today's episode of Life with a Loud Sound System, I'm gonna need everybody's opinion on today's video. If you guys been watching my videos, man, you know I got a stone wall, but for, for those of you who haven't watched my videos, man, this is my stone wall. So this is my Silverado with the stunt wall in the back. Everybody usually has just a simple uh, piece of wood right here with speakers facing backwards or they have the crazy transformers things going on. But I just wanted to add a little bit more style to mine and this is what I got going on right now. It looks good and it's pretty loud, but man, times change as we get further along in life, man. Uh, new speakers get made, people add more power on speakers, and we do not want to stay behind on none of that. And if you've been watching my videos, man, you already know, like, I do so much research, I put so many ideas together, then I go ahead and I execute it. You guys have watched my previous videos, man, I had other door panels already built for this. Look, you're going to see the door panels right here. I already had door panels already built, I had already vinyl them, but for some reason, they did not, you know, really, you know, catch my eye. And if I knew they didn't catch my eye, I know they were not going to catch nobody's eye. So that's why I went ahead and redid them, and this is what the outcome was which was like 10 times better than what i actually had going on the design was pretty cool but man the concept of this one and then the color choice and everything man it really sticks out like a sore thumb versus the other ones are just going to be black it's just going to blend with the door but this one man looks exotic the other day i was on instagram man and little uzi just dropped his rolls royce the maybach style man check it out The back of that thing is sick, guys. That thing is sick. That thing is like crazy. That's a whole like, shh, man, that thing looks sick. So that made me turn on my light bulb in my head, man. We need to do something like that. This right here is where it comes to where I'm going to need your guys' opinion. I'm going to start with this first uh, setup idea design that I got in my head. Before anything, you know, I got Eminence and Seleniums and EVs right there. But I think I'm going to actually switch over everything to Tempano, man. You know, Tempano, like, it is, you know, a really good brand. It's popping, and it's actually pretty loud, and they can hold some mad power. So we're actually going to go ahead and go with Tempano, just because I want to go ahead and try to make this thing louder, because everybody's always doing sound system battles. And I my truck is not des designed to do sound system battles. But this time, man, I'm going to make sure that, man, we can get in that circle, because we want to be able to jam. These 610s right here have 3000 watts those four speakers right there have another 3000 watts the horns and the tweeters probably got like 500 watts um the eights on top have an 800 watt amp which actually it's not working um so it's not a lot of power where there'll be some people on four tens man they got 5k on the six tens another 8k but man i want to be able to get some speakers that i can put like an 8k and an 8k and you know right here i'm gonna get into what i want to do on the tailgate and put an ak down there so we can go ahead and at least have 24,000 watts just for mids that's not including the tweeters one of my ideas was to go ahead and just leave the same setup but just replace all the speakers and everything but build a really badass tailgate piece so i can put man load this thing up with horns which we're lacking and maybe a few mids across the the back of it and you guys let me know in the comments i would actually build it out of fiberglass so i can do crazy angles and i would wrap it in red just because it looks kind of funny here and i know if we do some red man that thing is just gonna stick out option number two which more than likely this is the route i'm gonna take but i still want to get all your guys's opinion is do it somewhat like the little uzi vert in the back of his uh, rolls royce man that thing is sick um it has the same pieces like this but just a little bit angled out same thing as well there um then it looks like it has some subs right here with some plexiglass then it goes up and then it has like a step and it goes up and then i think there's plexiglass on top um with just some nice like filler panels around and man that thing is sick so the way i would do it would be i would actually angle these pieces up as well too bam bam this area right here i'm actually almost tempted to get four six inch subwoofers um invert them and build them in a nice enclosure um, put some power so it actually has sub bass playing outside here because i do have 412 in a fourth order but all the bass fires forward but i need to have some bass back here because that's what i lack oh in this area right here there would be a bad big old opening right here with the subs inverted uh you know painted nice white with some leds so there's bass kicking out here but now on that step that it has 
uh, the part that's facing forward towards myself, man, I would load that thing up with horns. You see what I'm saying? Horns. The the side angle panels, uh, because of the step, I'd have probably actually have to like drop down the size. So I would actually, and more than likely with the sub box, it's going to get screwed it up. So I would just have like two good tens uh, along facing each other uh, side by side, but angled up. But now on the top, I would do horns to just to give it that extra sound. And, you know, we need horns as well, too. Same thing over here. We take that third uh, tent out, uh, put them side by side, cock it a little bit uh, with tweeters on top. And then so that will give us our angle pitch uh, subs right here. Then on the step, uh, some horns right here. And then along the side, too, I'll keep those eights and stuff like that. These areas, since we're going to like angle it, they'll probably be a little bit smaller. So I can actually add some bullet tweeters right here because I mean, I have to have bullet tweeters on my thing. I, I just can't do all horns. I have to have bullet tweeters, too. So I would do the real small, thin uh, bullet tweeters right here. I would actually go ahead and do the tailgate piece. Like I just said, again, uh, we'd probably do like some horns along the way right here uh, with some tens. Of course, we got to do tens and then maybe some bullets uh, wrapped in the same color vinyl. I think I'm going to go with red just because that red sticks out with that white, man. Just look at that. That thing would be crazy. Obviously, I would do a lot of LED lights to bring it out. But I feel if I go with that setup, that would actually be more eye catching than what I actually got going on right here because it still looks flat. You know, there are some raised areas, but it's 2023 man. people are raising the bar and we cannot stay behind. This time, I actually want to do a badass mousetrap uh, YouTube logo. I uh, will put some LEDs on it and just make it like really glow because that needs to be a focal point. So when people look at it um, and they see that, you know, I'm a YouTuber and subscribe to the channel and then you can see all the build and everything. Man, your boy is sweating, man. It is so hot in Florida. Uh, so we're definitely gonna have to get like two tents whenever we work on this thing again man. guys let me know what you guys want to see the first setup or the second setup like the uzi vert um the back of that rolls royce man that thing is sick if if i had to say a dream vehicle man i had to say that rolls royce man you know like i'm an suv type of guy big cars with the roof cut if i could cut the roof on this thing i would um but man that setup is sick i think that's the route that i'm gonna go we're gonna add our own sauce to it just so it just looks you know like the mousetrap way don't forget, your boy has a giveaway going on, man. Get entered. Uh, giveaway ends July 30th. Winner will be announced July 31st, man. So it's one thing you do not want to miss. Get entered. You can buy tickets as little as $5. Like and subscribe and comment option one or option two. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.